They're searching the grounds immediately. How is Carolyn? Well, I took her upstairs and put her to bed and had Julia give her a sedative. I think you ought to go to bed yourself and get some rest. You look very tired. I am. But I, um... Uh, there's something I must do before I go to bed. What? Oh, just something that I promised Barnabas I would do. Good night, Liz. Good night, Roger. saw him die. Bruno! Bruno! You're still as beautiful as ever. I remember the day that you sat for this portrait, listening to the music I had composed for you. The music that will keep the memory of you alive forever. What are you doing here? My dear Elizabeth, You always did have the knack for showing up unexpectedly. Why have you come back? I belong here. You're the only one that thinks so. Wrong. She thought so. Quentin is returning soon. He'll never let you stay here. I understand he's coming back married. That's right. Won't he be in for a surprise? What do you mean? Do you think that she'll let another woman come into this house? She won't. You know that as well as I do. Why does everyone speak of her as if she was still alive? Frightening. Nothing was ever frightening about her. You all envied her because she was the most intelligent and most beautiful creature that ever graced this earth. I think you'd better leave now. Fortunately for you, I'm in no mood to argue. I'll be seeing you around, my dear Elizabeth. Barnabas wasn't imagining things. People like ourselves are living a completely different existence. Here in this room, I must find Barnabas and tell him. Was that Bruno, the terrible-tempered boy wonder I saw just now? He's come back. Back to compose more of his morbid music and bore us with his tiresome memories of her. <laughs> well, it'll be worth seeing the look on Quentin's face when he finds out, won't it? <laughs> I just couldn't believe it. You don't know what it's like suddenly seeing yourself walk into a room. Oh. I can't imagine. I hope they're still there. Listen. <laughs> it's too much. It's really too much. <laughs> Oh, I needed that laugh. It'll help me get through the day. <laughs> I don't find it the least bit amusing, Roger. Oh, but it is. The idea of Quentin and his new bride being greeted by Bruno. Perhaps he will even entertain her when Quentin is busy. I don't find that amusing either. But Bruno is a brilliant pianist. Otherwise, Angelique wouldn't have encouraged him. Her taste in music, as in everything else, was exquisite. Thanks to me. You won't stop deluding yourself, will you? Oh, it's no delusion. Angelique and I were 
shared something very special together. Our minds met and changed each other. Yes, Angelique was my very own creation. That's why I understand her sending for Bruno. Sending for Bruno? Angelique is dead. She can't send for anyone. You wanted to speak to me, Cousin Elizabeth? Yes. Bruno is back, in uh, case you haven't heard. No, I've heard. You manage the estate for Quentin. There must be some way of stopping Bruno from moving into the cottage. Moving in? I presumed he was merely passing through. No, he plans to stay. He says he belongs here. He never belonged here. Doesn't now. Especially not now. Then you'll do something. Well, of course I will. Quickly. Quentin will be back with his bride soon. <laughs> you really make me laugh. Talking so earnestly. Trying to figure out a plan to protect Quentin and his new little bride from big bad Bruno and all the others. And it's all so useless, don't you see? What you're doing is useless. Roger, whatever you have may have felt about Angelique, you must remember that Quentin is bringing Mrs. Collins back. Bringing Mrs. Collins back? I and mean, don't you realize that Mrs. Collins never left? Not for a moment. And now, if you will excuse me, had the most incredible experience in my life. Can you imagine what it's like seeing a perfect stranger with your body and your face and yet being so entirely different? Well, in that other world, you live a different life. The world of parallel time. Elliot Stokes says that up until now, it was only theory. Well, this room certainly proves that it isn't. I'm in it, Liz is in it, Chris, even Bruno, we're all in it. No, Roger, not quite all of us. You've never seen yourself, have you? No. Nor has anyone else seen me or mentioned me. But I know that Barnabas Collins, my ancestor who, who lived and died well over a century ago, was somehow involved in all this, but not the Barnabas that you know. He's not involved in this, and doesn't exist in this room and whatever lies beyond it. Oh, it's incredible, absolutely incredible. Barnabas, what's the matter? seem so far away. Yes, I suppose I was. I somehow feel drawn to this room as if... as if they're waiting for me there. And yet you can never get in, except when it's empty. You can't pass whatever that barrier is. Barriers have a way of being broken. Don't they, Roger? Now, Barnabas, whatever you're planning to do, be careful. Think carefully. I will, Roger. Well, someone is waiting for me in, in this time band. I, I must go. Are you coming? No, not just yet. Now all I can see is a dark, empty room. Yet somewhere, our other lives are continuing. Somewhere, Roger Collins loves and hates and hopes for things I know nothing about. I must admit, I didn't believe Barnabas at first. But now, of course, I have proof. You can't imagine what it's like seeing yourself in another time van. What? What, Rod? I said you can't... Julia, you're not the least bit interested. What's the matter? Uh, nothing. N nothing. Something is. What are you thinking? What are you doing here? Liz. Well, I couldn't believe my eyes when I looked out the window. Lights in the east wing. The empty east wing. What are you doing here? Oh, you were just looking around. Well, there's nothing to see. Or is there? What do you mean? There must be something very special in the east wing because suddenly everyone's so interested in it. And I would like to know what that something is. Very well, Liz. I will tell you, but 
I warn you, you're going to be stunned, as I was. Now what are we doing here? I could have had a drink while Jeff and Angelique are at the old house. Quentin, there's something else you must know. <clears throat> you have no idea what's behind that door. An empty room. Open it, Quentin. Go ahead, open it. I'll explain later. Someone's living here. Look, Quentin. That's a picture of David and me. You cannot enter. Now, what is this? Well, tell me. Wait. Watch. But Jeb's at the old house. Yes. He can't hear us. Huh? No. I uh, found it. Her address book. Angelique. Uh, well, you see, just just before she died, she uh, gave me the name of a of a chemist in Boston. Indeed. Perhaps you should have written it down. Oh yes, yes, yes. I know. And uh, well, actually, I, I did. I did. I did. And then uh, I. I uh, Forgot where the paper was. Isn't that convenient? Surely you can do better than that. Uh, now look, I'm not that lying. Oh, indeed, no, no. I, it's just very important that I get in touch with this chemist. Why? Why? Is there some chemical you cannot get in Collins Port? I have strict instructions to allow no one to take anything from this room without the permission of Julia Hoffman. Would you care to check on that? Oh, no, no, I... I'm sorry, I, I guess I just uh, <laughs> have to get along without it. Yes, well, I, I'm sorry I bothered you. Well, now, what is this? Look, Quentin. Incredible. Yes, Quentin. You have just seen parallel time. Somehow we must discover the secret of this room. Is Barnabas right? Is what we were seeing parallel time? Do we really all live other lives in other bands of time? Why am I afraid to open the door? What is so threatening? David! Why'd you go away? It's been so long. You promised you'd come back. You said, Daniel, whatever happens, I'll be back. Please come back. Please. I miss you so much. So this is where you hide. <laughs> if I were Quentin, I'd lock this room up. Father would never do that. Well, don't be too sure. When he comes back. When he comes back, she'll be here too. Oh, no. No, she won't be. She's never coming back. 
what you said. People die, Daniel. That's the end of it. No. You're going to have a new mother now. Don't say that. Don't ever say that. I won't have a new mother. I won't. I won't. Daniel, I'm ashamed of you. Do you want servants to hear you? Or Amy? Carolyn. Carolyn, surely you can see me. Hear me. Carolyn! child who looks exactly like my son. It is called Daniel, the son of Angelique and Quentin. When will we know what this means? When? When I saw myself in this room, what a strange life I must be leading in that time that is so close to our own, but so different. I must know what that life is. I must. Oh, Barnabas, there, there must be something we can do, some way of, of controlling your need for blood. Julia, for the past hour, I've been thinking of that room in the East Wing. What does that have to do with it? Julia, if I could only transcend that time warp that exists in that other room. If I could only get to that other world of time. Do you think going back to that other world, that other level of time, would, would change things? I don't know. But it might be a way of saving Sabrina's life. And it's possible, Julia, just possible that... that I... I might be... well, not the same as I am here, but quite normal and... be able to live in the daylight. I was trying to transcend that other time level can be very dangerous. You could get trapped there forever. And who is to say that might not be a blessing? Barnabas, Barnabas, once we did find a way of having you live in the daylight, we could find a way again, Barnabas. Barnabas, you belong in this time with us. Perhaps I do. But I can't help but be fascinated by that room and everything I've seen there. Why do I feel I belong in that other time? Is it because of this? Because my life was so different in that time? Barnabas! Barnabas, please, I must talk to you! Julia, she shouldn't have followed me. Julia, go back. It's happened. It's happened. Julia! Barnabas. Julia, can you hear me? Yes, Barnabas, I... Julia, can... can you hear me? Can't hear me. He's in that room. And he can't hear me. He may be trapped in there forever. Suddenly, appear. What am I going to do now? Who are you? And what are you doing in this room? Mm -hmm.